guys. So, you know, what I always love being able to do is find really cool tools that other tutors are using within their business that they find useful. And that is exactly what Elaine Lingard has done. She has found a way to kind of be able to use the same kind of teaching strategies she would do with her in-person students. And she's kind of moved that strategy online, which is a lot of fun. The other question I get is, how do you make online tutoring fun? And playing games is obviously one of the best ways to be able to make tutoring fun, right? And so you had found a way, Elaine, to be able to kind of take a board that you had, like a game board you had found on another site, and then you use some virtual dice to be able to, to play the game. So tell us all about this method. Right. Now, with my in-person tutoring, as you said, I like to do lots and lots of games and keep it really interactive and fun for the kids. Now, I've got a few homeschool kids and I teach them online and they really like to keep things interactive too because of the nature of the learning. So we just make it fun by trying to play games. So I think I can't always rely on websites that they've not come across before you know so yeah. with the parents dipping in and out of different educational websites I want to keep it fresh for the kids and keep them really interested mm -hmm. so I found a few um, game boards that I'd come across and used here in my center and thought you know I can stick this on bit paper it's in pdf form so that's what I tried and it was really good fun. I had a great time playing that last week. Now I'm going to show you what I've done today but I've also yeah. got a little secret I've not told you yet Joanne. I made my own, own game board last night too that I'm going to use with some of the kids this week that I'm tutoring. So oh, very cool. You get a little sneaky peek at my own Woo. game board. <laughs> <laughs> now Elaine, for people who don't know, tell them where you're from. Originally from Scotland, you can tell by the accent, but I'm based in Ireland, in uh, the west coast of Ireland. So I run my own centre here and I do online lessons too. Yeah, awesome. I love that you've done that. Like you found a way to be able to incorporate how to help more kids by using the online forum, which is fantastic. That, that really just opens up the opportunities for you to, to be able to make an impact on even more kids out there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's great. So yeah, my online kids are in another country. So <laughs> it's it's reaching out and you know, teaching everybody all over the place. It's great. I know. It's so much fun. All right, so, so show us this new tool. Right. Okay. So we need to share my screen at the end, don't we? So Yeah, so what she's sharing, she uh what she's doing, for those of you that don't know, we're in Zoom right now and she's actually gonna push a green button and it says share screen. So that's how she's doing this piece of it. And you can do that with your students as well. That's right. So if I come here and go to my game board, this is the one that I was um, sharing with the, the people on our, our um, group page the other day. This is the one that I found from The Measured Mum. Okay. And I, it was just a case of adding the PDF. Now, if we look at this button down here in the right-hand corner, mm -hmm. um, this is the one that we'd click to get the... PDFs that we'd want to upload and that's exactly all I did. So I just clicked the button, found what I wanted and, and dragged and dropped it into the, the page. Okay. Now I've, I've had a few people asking me about virtual counters. It's nothing special. All I've done is um, Googled a couple of three dimensional shapes and I've uploaded them as uh, pictures, as PDFs. Mm -hmm. um, and I've just shrunk them down to size so that we can drag them and move them ah, around the board so sure. it's, it's really simple it's nothing fancy yeah now, when i play this with the kids what i do is i just um move to the the virtual dice and uh -huh. we we just this is a good site it's curriculumbits.com and you can choose if you wanted to do a game with multiple dice. So it's a really nice one. Uh -huh. And the kids like it because it's a little bit noisy sometimes too. So I've switched on the sound so you can hear what the noise is like. They like sure, this. Sure. So if I click on here, we might. And we've got the roll of the dice. So <laughs> the kids love this. So all we did was virtually... Um, roll the dice, go back to the game board, and the spelling list that I used was a particular one that I was using on this site called Spelling Frame. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, we use this to work through a spelling exercise and we reinforced the spellings in the game form. Now, I've chosen a different list. I've just looked at a list that's typical for a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old um, on the spelling frame here. And without having to go through the, the spelling frame site, it's a nice one if you are based in the UK or in Ireland because it covers pretty much everything that they'd cover in the UK for spelling over here. So we would be focusing on a list like this, for example, and I would just flick backwards and forwards. I would say the word to the child. I would have it written down and say the word and let them check it on the list. Mm -hmm. so, they, so it's a nice little game to, to really involve them and they can look for the patterns in the, in the spellings that we've been looking at. Yeah. So it's what fun. A, what a great idea to be able just to like practice, reinforce, like you said, in a fun way, using tools that are easily available to you. And it doesn't take a lot of work to put this together. No, it literally took five minutes to put it all together. So I've been playing around with this idea since last week because I thought, yeah, I really enjoyed this. This is such a fun way to work. Yeah. So I've um, taken a few uh, different boards that I found that I like the look of and I made one of my own so uh -huh. I'll quickly flick through and show you the different types of things that I've I plan on using okay so this one here is one that I made myself oh. I put this one together last night um and again it's like I've it. just copied and pasted my little my little counter there now I was thinking different ways that I could do this I either verse the child at the spelling game and get them to tell me if I'm right and purposely make some mistakes along the way. Or we can put on a timer and see if they can beat their time each time. Ah, yes. So this is another way of doing it. So flicking back to our list of words, we would maybe choose the word right mm -hmm. and we would roll our dice. We've got four on here, so let's move our counter four places. One, two, three, four. Can I give the past tense a right? Hmm, could it be wrote? And the child would have to have a think for me. And if they get the answer right, they can roll again. So, nice! It's fun! I really it's, enjoyed making this. <laughs> that is really fun. Okay, I got to ask this. Would you be willing to share this with our listeners? Of course I will. Of course I will. Awesome. So then you'll send me a link and I'll add that link into our video. So all you have to do is click it and you can use it as well with your students. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> so now, a cool. few other boards that I've um, thought that we could use this concept with, um, I've taken from different places. So this one is from makingmathmorefun.com. Oh, uh, there's a whole load of different PDF games you can download. And I thought this might be a fun way to do different games with, uh, with um, children doing math. So for this one, for example, we would roll the dice mm -hmm. and then we would find uh, the number that we rolled. So it says here if the player rolled a three, they could cover the four and the one here because that's the difference between the two. So I would just use the pen system in bit paper and literally just score it off if they've, if they've um, mm -hmm. claimed that number, you know, so scoring off those two. And that would be a fun way to play these sorts of board games. So I thought that would be good. Another one I found was, uh, again, from the same site. And I thought just to mix things up with times tables, we could use maybe a board like this. And I thought of using Quizlet, you know, the flashcards in Quizlet, mm -hmm. and whizzing through the times tables with these. If they roll it, they can answer a question and get it right. They can roll again and, and so on and work their way around the board. So flicking through resources that are already there. So there's not a lot of prep time going into making these. Yes. Which, so that's the secret, isn't it? That is so, the secret, isn't it? That is indeed. Now, that's another one there. So just to give you an idea of the different things that um, this particular pack that I downloaded has in it, we've got division games, we've got the multiplication, the subtraction, and so on. And another one here was, you know, just literally finding different, uh, oh, finding different um, 
remainders in division in this one. So if you've got that uh, number, you roll mm -hmm. the dice and you divide by that number and ah. you see that's, that's what we do with this game. So there's loads and loads of different ways that we can use these game boards. Yeah, absolutely. And there's one I thought I'd stick in here for you, Joanne. A nice uh, reading game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you can so, even take, there's so many different things you could do with this. Like you could even find, I wonder if there's even just like a, a board that just has like, that just has like blank spots where you can add like your current words that you're working on, just like right on into something like that. Yeah. And there's, there's so many different ways that you can do this and simply just making one like the one that I threw together last night. It took me maybe 10, 15 minutes to do that. I literally just did that in a, um, it was in a publisher um, document and just saved it as a PDF. Mm -hmm. So it was nice and simple to make. So you can come up with your own ideas or use yep. something that's out there already. So yeah, it's good fun. Awesome. This is so cool. I just love being able, when you can take like the good strategies that are already working, like in your in-person business, and you can find a way to be able to teach it online, just like this, you just add like a whole new dimension to it, don't you? Yeah. And it's really exciting. I mean, it just mixes it up a little bit for me because you could get stuck in a rut using the same sorts of things over and over and mm -hmm. it doesn't become exciting for you. And I really feel that my energy will transfer over to the child. So if I'm a little bit bored with what I'm doing, it's going to come across with what I'm doing with the child. So if I can keep it fresh and exciting and interesting, I'm sure that's going to make it all the better for the person I'm tutoring. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hands down. You bet it will. And they're going to be excited about it. You're excited about it. And just to have like a fresh new thing to do is, is really cool. So maybe you keep it in, in for a while and maybe you take it out for a little while and then maybe you reintroduce it and bring it back and have fun. And you know, there's, there's lots of things that you can do with it, isn't there? Exactly. Exactly. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to share with us how you were using these game boards and the virtual dice and all of the links. I'm going to put all of the links inside of the video so that people have the opportunity to just click on the link in the description and be able to uh, join us. Now, if you're watching this, all you have to do if you want more great videos like this is to click on subscribe and you'll be able to learn all of the up-to-date information about how to teach online and everything else that deals with your online tutor business. And if you haven't joined us yet on our Facebook group, uh, definitely join us on over there. Uh, Elaine's a member of this group and, and lots of the other people that you've seen inside of these other videos are a member. It's called the Ultimate Support Group for Online Tutors. Well, that's all we got for today, you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.